Hello everybody, this is X0991 back with another episode of Let's Play Ratchet and Clank. The last episode we left off boarding the train. Train, train, train. Oh god, the train is leaving the station. Where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, what the hell? Is that a little glowy bot thingy? Yup. So this train is somehow magically flying over Metropolis. Yay! You know, it's times like these where I think, how the hell do people come up with this? I mean, this is a PlayStation 1 game. This is a great time to just look at the work they put into this. PS2 game, look at the details. Look at this. Just amazing. Anyway, you fall off, you die. Laws of physics apply here. As in, you jump. As in, you fly. Oh, never mind. It's good. I'm not gonna show that off. Wait, is that good? Do okay, you hover? Oh, wait, no, they don't. Never mind. What they did? Maybe on turns. I don't know. Did I hit? Oh, this guy's hitting me. Screw you, buddy. Yeah, sure, watch son. Die. Huh. Sometimes it feels heavy to jump on this. Yeah, but you always have that safety net of the... Of the... What? Oh, he died. And we're gonna get that info bot. Cool! And for some strange reason, whenever you get the info bot, you randomly reach the station, which doesn't make too much sense, but, you know, it's a video game. What are you gonna do? Hey, come back here, you. Oh, there's a bomb. Bomber. Ow. Kill you. Silence! I kill you. Okay, there's the info bot. I think there's some bolts over here, I think. Well, besides these right here, but. I think there's some over here. Yeah, let's bomb this thing. And boom! Ooh, that felt good to explode. It really did. Get a few extra bolts here and there. You know, that's, that's always nice. Nice. Very, very nice. I like to get the bolts. How much money do we have? I think you press select to see. Oh, I just attacked. I got 2009. Jeez. Nice. Alright, so, uh, I don't think there's anything else around here. Alright, let's go in here. Greetings, Executive German Drek. Dispense with the pleasantries, Lieutenant. My sources tell me you're behind schedule. You must prepare this planet to be harvested for our new world. Yes, sir. As you can see, everything is moving along as planned. I'm counting on you, Lieutenant. And as your former commander can tell you, I don't take disappointment well. Yes, sir. I won't fail. <laughs> wow. Drek is destroying yet another planet. Yeah, but if that's the kind of help he's getting, I don't think we have anything to worry about. You should not underestimate Chairman Drek. He is quite dangerous. We must find Captain Quark. Look, that lieutenant doesn't seem so tough. Let's take him out ourselves. Perhaps we can persuade the lieutenant to tell us where Drek is. Haha, <laughs> now you're talking. Oh, and you know what persuade means? Sexually. Actually, let me think. I think there's a secret right here. Yeah. Little nice little, little niche here. Get some more bolts. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, boom, bada. Bomb bib bib bap! I'm just gonna start talking nonsense, aren't I? Oh no! Anywho, this little taxi car will take us back to the Big Al's robot shack place, but we don't really need to be there now, do we? No, we do it. Quickly center the camera, just tap the yeah. L1 button. Now there's that guy again. I will kill you someday. I do not know when, but it will be someday. Anywho. Let's load up our amp. Oh, we're all maxed out. Uh, we can't buy the pyrociderator. Not the best weapon in the world. So, that's why I'm not getting it. But I think if we check our map, we are completely done here. Yeah, all missions complete. Yeah. Hey, hey, what? I'm a creeper. Wait, what? I mean, huh? What? Uh, yeah, what? Uh, what the what? We're just gonna get going now. And we're gonna enter the ship. Oh, man. Oh man. Come on, Clank. Anywho, so now we can go either to back to Novalis, which we beat, or we could go to Aridia or the logging site. Now the place I think I wanna go to is you know what? Mm. Let's go to Aridia. Um Yeah, we're gonna wanna go here. Yeah, definitely. Alright, let's blast off! Now, I've been actually thinking about it, if I should cut out these loading screens, because this is what technically it is, even though it's just the... Special! Bishop, go fast! 
So yeah. I don't know if I should cut these out until we get there, because, you know, it kind of wastes a couple of seconds here and there, but, you know, if you guys like to see the spaceship and the planet, then, you know, who am I to argue? And here we are! The dark. The darkness. I love this place. And no, I'm not evil, because I like the darkness. People like darkness, too! I'm people. I like darkness. Hi, Billy Mays here. I'ma be yelling at the TV now. Do, uh, I need weapons to be bought? Nope. We're actually gonna want the Pyrocidorator. I know I said, like, like what, not even 10 minutes ago that it sucked balls. But we're gonna want it for a specific reason. For a mission. We don't need it, but it makes it a whole lot easier and fun. Alright, so, oh yeah. It's destruction. What, you want some of these? Boom, these are sand sharks, I know their names. These enemies, I do not know what they're called, because I've never actually looked up a bio, but I know these are sand sharks. Um, I think later in the game they actually reveal to you that they are sand sharks, but for now, just kill and bomb! Boom! What? What? I thought you died. Oh man, these guys got fire. They got fire. Oh man. Is it getting hot in here? No, it's just me. And I mean me. I don't know if I'm referring to Ratchet or to my actual film, but, uh, yeah, I think I'm an ugly face dude, man, so, yeah. We'll just leave it to Ratchet. I mean, look at him. Helipack! God, Ratchet's face is like, whoa, man. Alright. Yes, the power, the balls. I think we have enough for the Pyrocidorator. But we'll just complete this mission, and we'll get on with our way. Get on our way. Get on with our way. Anyway, there's two routes you can take. We're gonna take the left route. We'll take the right one after. And this is where we actually need the swing shot. Boom! I am super secret spy. I am Vladimir. Zero Vladimir. Yes. Of course. Do 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 do. Nobody can see me. My gadget can see me. Swing! I am like Batman, but cooler because I'm an animal. I'm a fairy. Oh god. And then I can do cool tricks with it too. Can Batman do this? Oh god. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, wait, I can actually live? What the hell? Oh, I'm dead. I was wondering. Okay, so apparently I'm not Batman. Gee, la di da, what a big surprise. Oh well. That taught me not to show off. See, this is where showing off gets ya. Dead. Well, at least in a video game, maybe. But I don't know. Oh yeah, Batman skills. I'm Batman. Where am I? Oh god! Oh, this is fun. Oh god, they're gonna hurt me! Oh, they did! What the hell? I didn't think they were actually gonna hurt me. I just have a freaking explosion radius. Huh. Anyway, as for this game, I really do love it. I really do. I don't know why. It was actually introduced to me by a friend named MetalGod542, which I've had, which I did the whole Metroid, not the whole Metroid, but the bonus episode, no, not the bonus episode, the item collecting of Metroid Fusion with, and it's because of him that I got introduced to Ratchet and Clank. I didn't really know much about it. One day he brought over, um, Great, not telling stories. I just don't want to hear stories. But yeah, one day he brought over um, the third game, which I will not reveal its name or anything. But and I fell in love with it. So yeah, to be quite honest, I have not played these games in order. But I don't think I've ever played games in order. Because if I had other games and I played them like in reverse order or something, but in the end, once you play them, you know, it's like wow. You know. Anywho, here's a new gadget. Oh yeah. Yes. Ha ha! I got it. <laughs> yes, I just referenced Cows Crazy. Speaking of Cows Crazy, Project Red Rooster is on its way. Project Red Rooster is on its way. Anywho, uh, this is known as, I think, the Trespasser. Mm hmm, Trespasser goes. Trespass. So, you use it and. Okay. Get going. Okay. So, basically, you have these lasers. Depending on what ring you are on, you see how that flashing ring is yellow you can actually switch between rings and each ring go away each ring has different lasers on it see now the object of this is to get all the lasers pointing at one of those yellow s s dot things like so like that 
Oh god. Kinda... See how like those things go back inside the little circle? See? Just switch between them, and you see, you see right here how each laser is hitting one of those sections where it's green. The green ones don't matter. The ones that are red, the ones that's blinking. So if you go like this, it completes the circuit. Um, you might not get it at the first time, but you'll get it eventually. Um, yeah. Oh. Anyway, going back to Metal God 542, he brought over the third game. It was a great game, and I just fell in love with it. Um, he also had the second game. He didn't have the first one, which is this one. Uh, there are more Ratchet and Clank games. I know that. There's um. Probably I won't be LPing them. Uh, what are they? I don't want to say their names because you know I might go back on it. But there are a bunch. There's some for the PSP, uh, other games for the PS2. There's uh, like two or three for the PS3. But uh, if I do do the series, I would only do the four main ones of the series, which were for the PS2. So yeah, I fell in love with the third one, and then he had the second one, so he let me borrow that one too, and I beat it, and it was an amazing game. Uh, and then I myself bought the fourth one, and the fourth one has a pretty cool gimmick in it, uh, which I might LP one day if I actually do the whole thing, depending on how much response I get out of this one. Because this is Ratchet and Clank 1. If you like this game, you will love the rest of them, because the rest of them just get better from here. Oh god! Oh wow, well, luckily for me, I have the heli pack, so, you know, going down safely. And yes, you don't get any fall damage, so, that's good. But yeah. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the fourth game has a really cool gimmick. Um, there's something special about it. If you know what it is, and if you've played these series, please don't spoil it. Because there's some people who haven't seen it, and, you know, might enjoy it. But. So, I fell in love with these games. They're real good games. They're so much fun, because they have a lot of comedy, which I know I'm not funny. Boy, you know, I like funny stuff, and I like video. I like this, like, the whole idea of having humor, and just, I don't know something about this game. It has one of those charms that you just gotta love. And that's why I'm all playing it. I hope one of you guys can learn to love it too. For its value. But yeah. I decided to go with Ratchet & Clank 1. I eventually bought it myself. So technically I only really own right now 1 and 4. But if, if it comes to the point where you guys really want me to do number 2 and it's really popular well, and when I mean popular I mean the majority of you guys like it which so far it seems you guys have, which I'm really happy about, then I will go out and buy the second one. Yep. Yeah, I love you guys that much. That I'm willing to just spend my money to make awesome video games. Because I've been wanting to buy them, like, overall, but, you know, at least this one, this way I would have a good reason. It's like, hey, mom, dad, what about a video game? Why? Because it's cheap as hell. Oh, okay. If it's cheap, then, you know, your parents will buy it. I mean, this was for the PS2. I gotta realize that. And there's a hook shot around here, isn't there? Or something. Oh, or maybe not. Maybe it's just a escape route. Anywho, you can step in the mud, but you can jump out of watch. Blah, uh, but you only get like two or three shots. Anywho, uh, here we find the spaceship. No signal whatsoever. This downtime is killing me. Do you need medical attention, sir? Don't be so literal, son. The problem is I'm stranded on this backwater planet and my star client is nowhere to be found. Hey, we saw you on that info bot. You're Skid's agent. Was Skid's agent. Haven't seen him since our ship crashed. And an agent without a client is like a flea without a dog. Say, <laughs> you look like an athletic kid. If you can bring back the championship prize from the hoverboard races in Blackwater City, I'll make you my next star. We have no time for trivial matters, sir. Hmm. I could be the next Skid McMarks. <laughs> so we have to bring the ba prize from the hoverboard races, which actually we didn't really need to come here, but it's stuff that I do normally, so yeah, just it's, it's better to do it now. So let's go over here, and I think this is where we, where we will wrap it up for this episode. So this is X0991. I really hope you guys enjoyed this um, uh, episode. Thumbs it up if you really enjoyed it. It helps me, you know, want to record more. And I think I'll buy the Power Sitter Raider in the next episode. So this is X0991 signing out. Peace out, and see you guys next time. Peace out.